Pop-up drive-ins continue to open around the country because of COVID-19. And the latest will happen tonight along Chicago's beautiful lakefront. WGN's Shannon Halligan is near Soldier Field with a preview. What's going on, Shannon? Yeah, not too bad of a view to catch a movie outside of Soldier Field here. The gates don't open until 7 o'clock, so traffic shouldn't be too bad around that time. However, there's still only a capacity of around 400 people. Still, it is a socially safe way to catch a movie in the city. The Park District and Fueled Events put together this music and a movie showing. It's taking place in the parking lot between McCormick Place and Soldier Field. You do have to purchase a ticket in advance, and each car will be safely spaced out. Concessions and bathrooms are also available. There are also ticket options for people who don't have cars. Each night there will be a different movie shown along with a live DJ and it's a way for people to get out and enjoy the city while also staying safe. What's great about this, this is very also a uh, nostalgic experience for many. Uh, so it, we combined both what, we were, what was happening to us in the midst of COVID and what was happening around the pandemic, but also kind of bringing back that nostalgic experience and what people believe to be like summertime shy and why people visit the city and why people come here and hang out here. And if you are heading down to Soldier Field right now, uh, you are seeing some delays on the Stevenson in both directions, about 45 minutes either way from 355. You are super heavy, though, outbound on the Eisenhower. You've got two separate accidents, one around Des Plaines and another one past Mannheim. So you're looking at close to an hour and a half outbound on the Eisenhower this evening. So you've got crews working to get that cleared out of the way. Here tonight, though, once again, the gates don't open until 7 o'clock and the movie that we'll be showing here tonight is Groundhog's Day. Live outside of Soldier Field, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Thank you, Shannon. Coming